Hey guys, we're back again here at the range. Uh, this is the gun nut. Um, well, a viewer asked, hey, uh, gun nut, you think you can do a comparison on the Glock 26 versus the Glock 43? I was like, you know what? That's a good idea. Uh, considering they're both nine millimeters, of course, the Glock 26, AKA the baby Glock. So shh, we got a little baby here today. Look at that. We gotta keep quiet. It's sleeping. Okay, enough of that. Um, nine millimeter. Overall, it's almost identical to the 43. Um, the overall length is still about six inches, six and a half. Um, the only thing I could see the difference is that this one, 10 round magazine, it's a double stack. Um, so it's gonna be a little bit wider and it feels a little bit heavier, even though empty and even loaded, still heavier than the 43. So, um, plus this one doesn't come with the pinky extender. I'm sure you can buy an aftermarket one to put on it or so, but where the 43 does come with one, um, to me, I feel funny. It's like, I go to grab it, guess what? My pinky's lost. It, it's gone, it's crying. Um, plus on the 43, it also has a dovetail on it that's a little bit art more i guess you can say a little bit longer deeper cut so that way when you can when you grab onto it you can get a higher reach on it a little bit more accurate once you go to shoot um again see right there perfect example you go to shoot it's to me having your pinky placed firmly on the grip as well that's a big difference to me my opinion again i am not a professional i am an enthusiast i like guns if the sucker goes bang, guess what? I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. But, um, yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. It's great. Um, the hammer on it still, or the trigger pull, still five and a half pounds. The Glock 43 is the same way. Still five and a half pounds. Uh, you can also do aftermarket. You can change the trigger out, customize it, whatever you want. Um, it, just, it does feel different. It's totally different. Two different guns completely. I know some of y'all out there be like, oh, it's the same gun. There's no difference in it. You know, it's just one holds just more. One's a double stack, one's a single stack. Yes, but no. Um, it's a baby Glock, 43. It's a 43. <laughs> um, again, to me, this one feels heavier. Um, feel more accurate and more comfortable with the 43 versus the 26. So. Um, let me grab the camera real quick and I'll get y'all a closer look to the 43 or to the 26. I'm sorry. Let's grab the camera. And here we go. Yes, it is hot out here. I got my sweat rag, tea. And y'all probably are wondering, wait a minute, he's got another cup up here. Yeah, that cup and another Glock. Guess what? I said, we're at the gun nut range. This is how we do. My good friend Cam. What's up? My brother, out on the grill, we're doing it. See my little inspect, yeah. See, all the professionals do it. All highlighted information. So make sure I don't forget anything because of y'all. I'll try to do the best I can and get more information out to you guys the best, that I, the best way that I know I can without missing anything. Um, Glock 26, right here. So it's a little bit wider. Uh, it's got a heavier feel to it. To me than the 43 it ain't much i know some of y'all gonna look at the specs and be like oh you can't tell that much it's just a couple ounces difference well guess what to me i can tell the difference um again i'm not this is my opinion from what i'm experiencing um 10 round mag like i said it's flush once it goes in there it's flush so you can really only get these two fingers on there your pinky's lost to me that makes a big difference when i'm shooting um we're also going to be doing later on, after we do this, we'll take a quick break, shovel our face with some food, and then i got to do another review, Mosin are gone. Yes, that's awesome. Um, I've been shooting a little bit. Man, I tell you what, you've got to manhandle that boat action right there. It, I'm telling you, it's rough, <laughs> but it shoots awesome. But um, back to this. Anyways, Glock 26. Thanks to Cam, he pulled through for me. I owe him a lot for this one. Um, he was able to get this for me. 
without me having to buy it, so he let me borrow it. Um, I went and wasn't really looking forward to buying one of these just to do the review. So I reached out and Cam pulled through. Cam, thank you, buddy. So, um, like I said, it, it's, it looks the same just about as the 43. 43 is a little bit taller. I will say that. Um, but, again, to each his own. To me, I prefer the 43 over the 26. I will be posting the specs to both of these guns so you can compare yourself. Like I said, it's a 9mm, height of it is about 4 inches, the barrel length is still about 3 inches, the width of it, where the 43 is just like a millimeter over an inch, this one is to be exactly, I'm talking about exact, it is 1.8, so, uh, or 1.18, I'm sorry, 1 inch, 0.18, so, but he, I can even tell right there, it's wider than the 43 so um enough chit chat yakety yak let's shoot this thing say hello cam what's up yeah we're about to put down some food all right back and figure it. here we go camera back in <coughs> um another big thing guys again we are at the range i cannot stress enough safety 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 um I got my sunglasses. Sunglasses are not safety glasses. Um, I know some of y'all are like, well, y'all go to the range. Well, I got my sunglasses. No, they're not safety glasses. Get safety glasses, shooting glasses, whatever you want to call them. They're different. These will shatter when you have glass or plastic shrapnel in your eye versus something that is meant to hold up to flying obstacles. So be safe. I'm always safety is always an issue with me so be safe please be safe so earplugs put these suckers in eyes let's get to it again uh this is the glock 20 26 that i done a review on earlier Passed last week, I believe, on the 43. So um, I'll be posting a link in the description below as well to the link towards the review on the 43. So that way you can compare the 43 versus the 26. So uh, Glock 26, double stack, 10 round magazine, no picky extension. So that's why, to me, it makes a big difference. So um, let's see what it does. clean shoot um, because it's a little bit heavier I did notice it's got a little bit less recoil than the uh, 43 so uh, let's go back up top and talk more a little bit about it all right um, and I said earlier before because it's heavier just a little bit heavier I did notice that it's got just a little bit less recoil than the 43 so that's one plus that I do like about it. Um, I've had to find myself aiming a little bit lower than the 43 just because to me, like I said, again, the pinky. I am lost without it. I mean, look at him, he's crying. So um, yeah, I had to aim a little bit lower to try to compensate for my, my shot, where my placement shot is, I had to compensate for that. So, um, but again, to each his own, to me, 43 over the baby Glock every single day, um, just because for concealment, it's gonna be lighter on you. And to me, I think you'll feel a little bit more comfortable with the 43 when you're concealing it either inside or outside the waistband or under your hat or in your shoe or anywhere you wanna put it. So um, again, guys, this is the gun nut. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure I know in all my reviews I say you know thank you to Georgia Gun Store I'm pretty sure this one was not purchased there 
but um unless cam can you confirm no yes no okay so either neither less great gun still if you're in the area georgia gun store has these as well if not they can order them for you so pay them a visit mike kelly chris again uh pay them a visit let them know what you need they will hook you up um so y'all stay tuned we're gonna take a quick break eat some grub and we're gonna be shooting this bad boy mosey nagant first one ever i've done with this thing this is old school to me i have no idea no information i know a little bit about it but that's about it so uh mosey nagant we'll see what it does we'll hear in a little bit all i do know i did shoot it before this sucker the bolt simple right now yes really easy once i put a couple rounds in it once i put my first round in it shot it i went you know i figured okay yeah i'm gonna cycle through it i wanted to push up on the bolt that sucker did not want to come up i thought i was gonna have to get a hammer or something and pull this sucker up but um yeah this sucker this bolt you have to manhandle this bolt so but after that like i said we're gonna take a quick break uh we'll come back and we'll do the review on the Mosey Nagant. We'll shoot a couple rounds down range with it and see what it does. So again, guys, this is the Gun Nut. So until next time, which is here in maybe about 10, 15 minutes, we'll do another review with the Mosey Nagant. We'll catch y'all here in a little bit. This is the Gun Nut, guys. If you got any questions or comments that I might have missed out about the Glock 26, let me know. Comment below. You know, again, I'm an enthusiast, not a professional. I like guns. I try to find out as much information as possible as I can for you guys. So um, this was a review on the Glock 26. Guys, again, thank you very much. I will be putting a description between, you can compare the Glock 26 versus the 43. So I'll put that, the link below in the description as well. So guys, again, this is the Gun Nut. I'm out until next time, which will be in about 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, I'll say that. And then we'll do some more shooting with the Mosey Nagant. All right, guys, we're back again. Took a quick break, got some friends down, we're shooting. As you can see, the table grew. We got more stuff in here. Interesting stuff. So um, what I promised y'all guys to do here in a little bit, the Mosey Nagant. Um, it's awesome. I don't know much about it. I've been shooting it. I do know it's an old, old gun. Um, 1954, and it's Japanese, Chinese. Can't read that, so I don't know. What I do, what I do know is I will post up a link to the description of this whole thing you know tells you more about it all i do know is that they've been through a lot of wars and still use them to this day from what i know of. so i figured we'll just come out here and have some fun with it the mosey nagant mosey and nagant whoever however you pronounce it it's a big gun big caliber big boom so um let me grab the camera real quick And get you guys a closer look. As you can see, the table kind of got... Oh, look at this. That is sheer fire awesomeness right there. Mosin Nagant. Pretty slick. And yeah, see? It loads. There's, You can see right here, there's like a little notch. You know, back then, they used to carry clips. Not magazine, people. This is a magazine. Magazine. That is not a clip. That is a magazine. Clips hold these rounds, so that way it holds five, ten, whichever, depending on the rifle or the gun. There's notches right there that when you're out, they just pull out the clip, line up them notches, and slam these rounds into there. So that way they can load up five, ten in one shot. So, difference. This, people call this a clip. Guess what? Yeah, I don't think that's fitting in there. I don't know, maybe we can do this? No. No. Go that way? Nope. Okay, that's not gonna work. Yeah, see? Magazine. Slides. Locks. Woo, look at that. Clips go into here. Know the difference. So enough of that. Got some cantaloupes down there. Yes, we're close. We're like eight yards away. I just plan on having fun with this thing. Uh, Mike, Kelly, and Chris, guys, thank you again very much. Georgia Gun Store.
Mosey Nagant. Yeah, we're about to have some fun. So let's load this sucker up and see what we can do. See? Live, people. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Internet. I have friends that come down and we just like to blow stuff up. We like to have a good time. Like I said, firearms are not dangerous. It's the people behind them. These are tools. Just like, guess what? That's a tool, a knife. It's not dangerous until I go, ah, I'm a shanky, stabby. Then it becomes dangerous. Till then, guess what? Stays in my pocket, it's a tool in case I need something. So, same thing, tool. Food provider, protector, it does the job. So these low through the top. Four melons, four rounds. And again, we are extremely close. Definitely, definitely need protection with flying melon shrapnel. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, I do know that the Naga, the boat action on thing, you've got the manhandle. It's not soft. I mean, I will say this. I take off my hat and salute those that have used these in the war. Man, these things are brutal. Because, yeah, I mean, it's it sucks. You'll see why here in a minute. Sliding one in, no problem. If when I go to rack it to put another one in, it sucks. Melon one. See what I mean? You gotta smack, smack, and smack again. Melon two. Oh, oh I'm covered in that. So, melon three. Last one. There you have it guys, Mose and Nagant. Even with them being this old, still a lot of fun. Looks like we can make some fruit salad now. So, um, of course, hey, we're out here cooking out. We got dessert now. With a little hint of lead and maybe grass. It's all good for you. So again guys, um, this is the gun nut. Got any comments, questions, especially about the Mose and Nagant. I am not familiar with this at all. Um, I would extremely, extremely love to know your input about this. Um, I just done some quick research on it, read about it. To me, it's a piece of history, piece of America that honestly is awesome. So again, guys, comment, share, and everything. Everything I want to know. I'm an enthusiast. I like guns. Point Black, great example. I'm here with friends. We're doing it up. So this is Gun Nut, guys. Until next time. We'll catch y'all later and see what else we can shoot up. This is a gun nut. Mike, Chris, Kelly, God, thank you very much. Uh, Georgia Gun Store, you guys pay them a visit. Trust me, they will hook you up with whatever you need. Tell them the gun nut sent you, they'll take good care of you. I'm out, guys. Till next time.